We are going to begin again in a seated position and do some breathing exercises. Um, so ground your sit bones, sit tall, and create space through the spine. And just check back in with that air tank and what's going on with your air. Breathe in through your mouth and out through your mouth. On the inhale, feel that air tank filling like a glass filling with water. And on the exhale, feel everything deflating like a balloon. I'm going to add a little tool to help us monitor our inhale. And we are going to use our hands and place them right up on gently on our lips. And on our inhale, we are going to hear a wind tunnel. So, um, and you need to have a very open oral cavity for this to work. So, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho sound inside, but on the inhale. Okay, so that's our inhale. And our exhale is steady stream of air at one point on your hand, about six inches away from your face. Okay, do that, do this a couple of times. And so we're really having to energize that air as it comes in, but we're still filling from the bottom up. And we have having um, an energized exhale as well, but it's still staying as relaxed as possible. So let's practice that a couple times. So we're going to inhale. Good. Are you able to have a steady, keep, you hear that steady air singing past your hand and into your air tank? and you're feeling that steady stream of air on your hand. We're gonna add some time to this. We're gonna go in for two and out for four. Okay, so let everything out. Two, three, four. Good, take a break. Notice, we're working a little harder, but, and so the tendency is gonna be to add some tension into like, er, uh, so maybe tense up our shoulders a little bit, and maybe tense your jaw a little bit. Notice that, and release it, okay? Let's try a couple more times. In for two, out for four. Ready, breathe, two, three, four. Bye. 
finding space. Last breath here. And release. Good. Move your props. Coming into all fours. Wrists directly beneath your shoulders and knees directly beneath your hips. Right arm straight out. Left leg straight back. We're aiming for a straight line fingertips to heels. Stretching forward with your fingers and back with your heel. Inhale, lengthen, finding space. And exhale, getting all that air out of your body. Inhale, expand. And exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, contract. Good. Back to neutral. Other side. Left arm reaches. Finding your balance. Right leg out. Inhale, reaching forward with your fingertips and back with your heel. Inhale and exhale, contract. Really pulling all that air out of the contracted position. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knees. Inhale, reach, finding your strength. Exhale. Inhale, reach, last one. And exhale, elbow to knee. Really blow all that air out. Good. Coming back to seated. We're going to be doing boat pose and we're going to row our boat. The um, important thing in boat pose is that your spine is straight and that your chest is open. You can lean back on your hands and bring your knees and feet up. This is great with your hands here supporting you. If you feel like you can do this, great. If you can go here, great. Whatever is working for you, we're just creating a little strength here. So inhale here and row to the right. Inhale center, row to the left. Inhale center, row to the right. Inhale center, row to the left. Inhale center, and exhale release. One more round of this. Inhaling center, rowing to the right. Inhale center, rowing to the left. Center, inhale, exhale, to the left. Inhale, center, great, and forward fold, Ooh, exhale. Uh, move however feels good here. A couple big breaths. Excellent. We're gonna come into a small, the smallest ball we can here. <clears throat> um, and we're going to be totally contracted. And while we're within this contracted position, we want to find space on the inhale and expand in every little nook and cranny that we can. So knees are together, heels are together, coming forward. If you can get your forehead to the ground, great. If you need to bring Harry Potter back, that's fine too. Hands are back um, by your heels. If you can grab on your heels and make yourself into a smaller ball, even better. And really, you should feel your ribs expanding and your back body on the inhale here. Because they don't have anywhere else to go. Exhale, big breath. In through the mouth. Out through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. One last big breath. Great, come up slowly. Awesome. I hope that you could feel 
things expanding and I hope that felt like a little bit of work but not too much. Okay, let's play some notes. We will be playing a B concert B flat major arpeggio. If you don't know the notes for that yet, um, go and grab your music. I'm sure it's in one of your one of your books. Um, we're going to be playing as legato as possible, and we are just going to be adding to the chord. So B flat to D, B flat, B flat, D F, D B. Flat D F B flat F D B flat, and we're gonna go up two octaves. And if you don't have the full two octaves, just go as high as you can, whatever feels good, and whatever you can do with a great sound, and then come back down and hang out in B flat. Um, and we are going to breathe for four beats between each um, phrase and play half notes. Okay. And I am going to have to start to sneak breaths um, after I hit an octave. So um, if you're playing a big instrument like me, you'll probably need to sneak breaths in. Even when you're doing these sneak breaths, <sighs> make them as relaxed and as efficient as possible. Um, but if you're playing smaller instruments, you should be able to um, do almost the whole, the whole thing in one breath. Okay. So breathing for four beats, let it out, one, two, three, breathe. <laughs> to be helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks.